No tree too tall, no job too small. Lim Walker Tree Service, 725-203-6660. I'm an engineer with Python. We're a very early stage startup launch vehicle company founded in Bishop, California. And one of the things you need to do when you're running a launch vehicle company is test your engines. We looked far and wide for where we might where we might be able to do that. And the number one top spot uh, is located at your airport uh, yeah. just east of town. Uh, so we'd very much like to lease some of the property there. Uh, we're grateful for Lorena and her colleagues to, pre to prepare a uh, property use agreement, um, which I don't know if you've had a chance to look at. But we would like to request uh, a few amendments to that and then seek approval for that. The actual location of where we will be uh, I don't know how we're going to work out the details if we do that, but staking out an acre. It's in the historical uh, World War II era run-up era area for runway 29er at the airport. Our rocket engine is about this big. Uh, it's printed and 3D printed in uh, Inconel, which is a really heat-tolerant metal. Mm -hmm. There's nine of them at the, end, the bottom end of the rocket, and the rocket is just a little over a meter in diameter, about this big. This is a very, very small rocket, and we will be testing those engines one at a time and in multi-engine stages. So it's less of a, a dramatic event than you might be used to if you're looking at a rocket engine test at Stennis or at SpaceX's McGregor test site. But it is a rocket, and it does, does burn um, rocket propellant. We use furfuryl alcohol, which is just another industrial alcohol, as our fuel, and we use nitric acid as our oxidizer. The alcohol is not an issue. The nitric acid is a rather toxic chemical. Yes. Our contract limits us to store and use no more than 250 gallons of each commodity on site. So that's our principal means of mitigation is just small quantity. So we're talking about small engines, um, small quantities of propellant, and our principal mitigation for spills and fires is on-site water. Uh, so we bring in our propellant commodities and on-site water. We don't use facility water. Now, I would also uh, make note that our contract obliges us to be EPA compliant uh, through, uh, what is it, Nevada's equivalent thereof. I think the, 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 the safety concerns are, are very valid. You know, if there's a fire, I think those are great questions. I think the environmental questions are good questions as well. But I also think he's mitigated it, and I think the, I think I believe that he's answered them to my satisfaction, I hope, to the boards. And again, there is a clause in there that we all agree. If we don't want you, want you there any longer, you're out. And if we're going to build homes in that area, you know what's going to happen. You know, just so you understand where we, where we all fit. So, again, we're happy that you're going to be there.